We got paddles. Oh, life jackets are under there. Paddle. Take her easy. Keep going. For Jessica Raymond, it's all been overwhelming. I just feel like I'm numb at this point. I think I've had my emotions already because after I talked to the insurance adjuster and I realized I have no coverage whatsoever. Her wedding was already postponed due to the pandemic. Now she has a new nightmare. My wedding dress is sitting in my house. I have no insurance, nothing, because I live on a floodplain, and the water level is above my garage door. Like everywhere else, Fort McMurray was already dealing with COVID-19 when this happened. This hotel, shut down due to a lack of business, now houses evacuees like Henry Osabor. It was challenging. Like the first day I came here, you know, I wanted to go straight to the elevator and I saw some guys waiting. I have to hey, stay back one person at a time, you know, so you don't touch things. Anyhow, when you get into your room, you want to quickly wash. Some of those coronavirus restrictions have now been lifted to allow people to work together to save what they can while others wait for news on the homes they've had to abandon. I have my books and my uh, PC for Google Classroom and stuff, and I'm doing really well. Today, Fort McMurray's mayor said the number of buildings affected is now half that of the 2016 wildfire, while the premier is hopeful the massive raft of ice that caused the flooding is starting to shrink. We are uh, encouraged to see the uh, ice jams are beginning to clear on both the Athabasca and the Peace Rivers and that water volumes are starting to go down. And Fort McMurray continues to face it together. Rafi Budjukan, CBC News, Fort McMurray.